Hello, my name is Liesel. Movement is a great tool to attract attention. Think about if you're trying to spot an animal in the wild. It's their movement that usually helps you discover them. The same thing when you play hide and seek. So today, I'm going to show you a few easy ways to create animated GIFs without filming a video that you can use for your social media posts or newsletter images to attract and keep attention. And we are going to do it right here in Canva. So if you're ready, come with me. To illustrate the first method, I've already created my Instagram post and I've used one of my photographs with my wave wall decals in the background. So just to bring it a little bit alive, I want to bring in an animation of a splash. So to do that, I will go to Elements. Then I'm going to search Splash and I'm going to put in the word Animation. And all the ready-made animations pertaining to the word splash will come up. Okay, and you can do this with anything. For example, if you wanted to put in a butterfly, let's look at that. You will get little butterflies, and a lot of stuff that moves. Okay, so let's go back to the splash. This is the one that I want to use, so I'm going to click it over. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Pop it. Right in there, let's have a look. Awesome! Now all we have to do is to save this design. So we will go to Share, Download. Go down to the bottom to GIF, so it will be a short clip with no sound. You can choose the size if you're on Canva Pro. If you're not, you will usually only have one size. And if that is too big for your use, I will show you later in this video how to get around that. And download. So now this will save to my computer and I can use it in an Instagram post or a reel or even upload it to a newsletter and there will be something eye-catching on my image for my followers. For this next example I'm using a brand new image from the Tiny Dollhouse. They've got a new collection out and it's time to share the news. So I've added a shape to create a banner. I've added their logo and a little, a little bit of text, okay? And this is the text that I want to animate. So we're going to click on animate. And then you will see the basic animations. And when you hover over these animations, the text will actually be animated. It will give you a little preview of what will happen. So let's hover over the rise and it will come up. Pan, it will come in. A little bit of fading happening there. You can pop it. You can wipe it. That's one of the ones that I like most. Succession. Breathe. Baseline. Drift. So that's quite slow. Tectonic. Then you also have a few writing animations. So for example, if you click on typewriter, it will actually look like you're typing it. And then you when you choose it, you can also choose if you want it on entry, on exit, or on both, okay? And you can also choose the speed of your animation, so make it slower or faster. I'm just going to leave this in the middle. And if you're not happy with it, you can also remove the animation down here. Then there's a few more. You can merge your animation. You can block it. So, did you see that little block? Let's do that again. You can burst. Whoops. <laughs> Let's see what else they have. You can bounce. You can roll. You can skate. Spread. Clarify. And exaggerate. So, it can tumble, give you that neon light effect scrapbooking effect and the stomping effect 
Okay, so I'm going to go with the typewriter. I'm going to choose it on both. And now all that I have to do is to share it. So I'm going to share it. Download. You can of course do it as a video, but for today's purposes we're doing everything as a, as a GIF. So I'm going to do a GIF and download. And whilst it's downloading, you also get a little, a little preview of what your GIF will look like. For this next example, I'm using another image from the Tiny Dollhouse new collection. And this time I want to make some moving text within a circle. Okay, so we're going to go to Elements. I'm going to choose a circle. Make it a little bit bigger. Place it. Let's choose a different color. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go to Text. Add a text box. And I'm going to write our text. So I'm going to write new collection coming soon. But because I'm going to put it into a circle, I would suggest to leave two spaces between each word. Okay, so let's do that. New, space, space, collection, space, space, coming, space, space, soon. Space, space, okay. I'm going to change my wording to white. I'm going to change the font. Now I'm going to click here on more. Go to effects. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use this curve option. Okay, and if we scroll more or further down, you will see that the further you actually drag this to the right, the more rounded your text will become. Okay. So let's do that and make it a little bit bigger, click out of it and then you can place it within the circle. New collection coming soon, that looks great. Okay, so now we're going back to the small button. I'm going to go to animate, I'm going to scroll down. To these add motion effects and you've got a rotate, a flicker effect, a pulse effect, your wiggle. So you can see what you would like to do. I'm going to use rotate. You can make it faster or you can make it slower. And I think that looks quite cool. Excellent, so this next animation is done. So let's go and save it. Download. GIF. I only want page number three, which is the one with the rounded um, animation that I've just made and done. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Oh my goodness, this looks great. Do you like it? Well, then stick around for the next one. For the last example today, I'm going to show you how to use a new animation tool on Canva. Okay, so I've just got this Instagram post that I found on the Canva template. I'm going to go to Elements. I've looked for a white butterfly and I found this one, so I'm just going to click it over. I'm going to make it much smaller and I'm going to rotate it a little bit so that it actually fits here with the other butterflies. Okay. Just move the spring to the back. That it doesn't bother me and we place the butterfly where we want to now what I want to do is I want to move this butterfly so that it actually flies around this image away from the other butterflies okay so I will click on it I will click on animate then you will see at the top it says tools create animation 
Now what you do, you will click onto your um, butterfly and actually drag it, just like they show you how to do it with the bee here on the left. Okay, so let's do that. I will click on it and I'm actually going to create my path. And then I will see what it looks like. That's great. It will give me some options. I can keep it as original. I can keep it smooth. Let's see. Or steady. I think I'm going to stay with original. You can also change your speed. So either make it really fast or make it a bit slower. I think my butterfly will go nice and slow. And then if you're happy with it, you just click on done and your animation is done. Let's have a look at our little butterfly flying away from the woods into the sunlight. How beautiful is that? And now for the tip that I promised you earlier in the video. If you've created a GIF and it is still too big to upload to a specific platform, like for example MailerLite or MailChimp, you can still make it, you still have a chance to make it smaller. So you can go to a website like this one called freeconvert.com. You can go to choose file. You can just upload your GIF in there. Here at output, you will choose GIF and you will click on convert and file converter will do it for you quickly and you should be sorted. I hope you found this helpful today. I hope you learned something new. If you've got any questions, please leave me a comment and thank you so much for staying until the end. See you next time. Bye-bye.